Hey Aries, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, including the tarot decks that I'm using, will all be in the description box below. Also, I invite you to um, visit my website. It's nomadsoulwire.com. Um, you can sign up in that website. I do have um, some contents in there that you might also enjoy. Also, you will be getting some updates every now and then from me with regards to um, this channel as well as um, some giveaways. All right. Some decks and oracle decks, tarot decks that I'll be giving out. So um, feel free to sign up if you're inclined. All right. So Aries, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for Aries in love? All right. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Eight of Swords. The Ace of Coins. The Star. The Chariot. The Four of Wands, the Wheel, all right, the Five of Cups, okay, the Knight of Coins, and the Page of Wands, ah, uh, Aries. At the bottom of the deck, we have the um, Seven of Swords and the Magician. Oh, Aries. Beautiful. All right. So, Aries, this is a pretty straightforward reading. I feel that um, you're in a connection, Aries, where once it was a stable one. Yeah, it was a stable connection. It was a connection where you had a lot of love for one another. Um, you, you even... Uh, mm, Things were thriving between the two of you, or you both were working together, and um, things were fun. Things, yeah, everything was um, all right, and um, there was a lot of attraction, a lot of um, sleepless but sweaty nights, perhaps, and um, yeah, I do see that. Uh, and it was a very loving, um, passionate uh connection you have this could even be a relationship for the most part this could be um a very committed you know there was a point in time when you were both committed into this connection could even be a marriage all right and um but for those of you who are not in any of those um contracts for instance like marriage contracts and all um this is simply uh telling me that um you are in a connection where you feel as though there's really it started off as a really uh, a connection with a very strong bond, okay? And the way I see it, something went off along the way. It could be that um, Aries, it could be that um, there were, uh, I feel it could be due to some trust issues, either on your part or on their side, that may have led to um, may have led to uh, separation or just the two of you just not being on the same page yeah somebody here felt betrayed or somebody wasn't just very open and transparent towards the other party and therefore the other party wasn't you know uh, feeling secure in a connection not feeling secure and i feel aries it could possibly be you it could possibly be you who felt like, um, it could possibly be you who felt like um, this person wasn't really honest towards you. Or on the other hand, it could either, either be on, on which side. Okay, I'll be reading, this is your Love Connections reading, so I'll be reading both sides here. Um... So you pick your side, okay? But I feel that somebody here wasn't really very honest, yeah? 
um, on this cards, I could see that it's likely you, but then again, um, a part of this energy is telling me that you, you've decided to start off with um, another connection. And I feel it's you too who may have left this connection hanging. So <coughs> I, just, um, I just feel like somebody here has decided to um, move out, you know, move out from this connection um, because it seems like uh, due to some betrayal, due to, some, to a breakup, could have been a breakup in the past, but there's some uh, form of mistrust here. Okay, somebody wasn't feeling secure in a connection. And then I do see that um, someone here has left the connection and decided to start something off. Yeah, a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody here, yeah. And in your case, it seems like Aries, um, you're actually heading to a better um, circumstance. Like the moment you have decided to let go of this connection that doesn't um, anymore serve you well, um, I do feel that you've got this new opportunity that may have even, you know, made your life better than uh, what it was back then with this person that um, you were dealing with. Mm -hmm. Because in this connection, it was really a lot of, it's more of mistrust, betrayal not knowing what to do you couldn't trust them and in the process you are feeling as though you know there's no point building a connection that doesn't have trust you couldn't even build trust here um i feel that you were dealing with someone who may be a bit more of a control uh, there's there's some form of control factor in this person's life that they will only tell you what they want you to know yeah, that's the element, uh, that's the feeling I get for this reading. Yeah. But when you jut it off, yeah, I feel that someone here is regretting the loss of this connection. Because it feels like when you went off, this connection is um, done and good. Yeah, at least for you, it's done and good. I mean... If you haven't cut off this connection, I feel that if you do, things are going to work out for you. And then there's a better opportunity coming in. Mm -hmm. There's a better opportunity coming in. And a, an opportunity, if it is love, this could even be a whole lot better in terms of you may be meeting someone who is um, more secure uh, financially, emotionally, and all, all the factors that you would be looking for in a relationship, at least to start with, it would be a very good opportunity to grab on, you know, to start um, building, yeah, as opposed to what you have, because currently what you have right now, um, apart from the fact that this person may have betrayed you, um, may have put you in a third party, this is someone too who is very slow to move. Yeah, or very slow to put in the effort into this connection. And I feel that you really have an opposing um, energy in the terms that for you, once you see that the shoe fits, you'll decide and then take control and then move forward. While this person will take like hours instead of minutes to think about things or would take them years before they could decide instead of three months, for instance. So there's that um, difference in your how do you call that velocity <laughs> or the speed of how you both function i mean it, that's not there's we're not saying somebody here is wrong or right but um just the core character you know um you have different you, you're two different people with really um it could have been a mismatch if you met this person online if you met this person online, then possibly this is the time ne to know that um, it probably wasn't a good match. I don't see it too. So I don't know where you met this person, but it's more like um, you don't move in, this, in the same pace. You don't think in the same way. So it's probably like a mismatch here. Yeah. 
And the longer you stay in this um, connection, Aries, the more you will get bored, I feel. The more you will get bored. Yeah. And likely so. The reason why you just decided to just move on, it's because this connection was, in fact, it was a good connection with you. It was a, a very beautiful, loving connection at some point. But the moment it got you into a stagnant phase, you just couldn't um, stay there. You just couldn't remain stagnant, yeah? And then you move on. And then you move and, and got new opportunities which are rather accessible and could at least make your days better than just being stagnant. Well, the person that you're dealing with, there's a lot of regrets. There's a lot of disappointments in their side here. Mm -hmm. And I feel that they still, at this point, this person doesn't even get it as to why things did not work out for, for the both of you. And um, somehow there's still a little bit of hope in their side that someday they would be able to, um, you know, come forward and offer you something. <laughs> That's what I see. There's just a very slow moving energy on their side here. While you are already um, harvesting your crop, this person is still deciding on what seed to start with. Some, something like that, if, if, you, if that makes sense. Yeah. And, um, and you know what? I see that this person would be, um, would still be coming forward and reaching out to you as if nothing happened. You know, it's more like they don't understand how things couldn't work out. But at the same time, um, this is someone who would be, uh, they feel that maybe they're just taking their time. I feel. Let me see. Tell me more about this connection. I feel like um, they're taking their time. They're taking their time to decide on, on this. And you jetting off. Perhaps they didn't even know that you may have a new opportunity here. Yeah. They may not even know that. Yeah. So there's that level of. Or perhaps, Aries, you're not telling this person that you're done. And that this person is also still having that faith that um, you can still work things out here. There's some level of manipulation, um, illusion, and um, misleading um, actions. So it could be you showing them that everything is fine, everything is okay, without even... Um, Telling them exactly, you know, if you, Aries, have a new one, new person, new connection that you are, you are now focusing on, and you're not telling this person, definitely this person doesn't know. Yeah. And there's a bit of, if I'm um, Aries cross watcher, whichever your, your side on, you're on in this reading, yeah, someone here is being um, misled. Yeah. Someone here is being misled. Cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. This is your advice, okay? Aries. I feel that the advice here pertains to rather, if you have a new connection, Aries, and that you're, you have decided that you're really totally out of this connection, one way, you know, this cleansing waters could really be applied in your life is that purifi purification activates vibrant life force. So this is also um, pertaining to cleansing, you know, cleansing our thoughts or, or just um, bringing in positive vibes. So if you feel like you already have a new one, part of the purification is just coming clean, yeah, and telling this person what you have right now. And what do you intend for this connection to, um, I mean, in the long run? Is it going to be just friendship? Or is it going to be just um, hobby mates or, or whatever? Yeah. Because I feel someone here too is doing some things, some manipulation tactics that's um, possibly creating this, um, this illusionment towards somebody. Yeah. And although, you know, if you're dealing with someone who is pretty slow in terms of deciding, it doesn't make them a lesser being, you know. So 
and they also deserve to be um, given some truth or to have the truth about this connection. Because the way I see here, if you are resonating with this reading, the way I see here is your person doesn't have a clue why things um, are, are where it is at right now. They know that they are sad because it seems like nothing is moving. But at the same time, they, they have this um, tendency to believe that in the long run, you would still be able to talk to one another. You would, he, they would still be able to come forward and offer you something. So somebody here maybe is not getting the, is not getting the point. Yeah. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? So this person is still hoping for both of you to get back together. While you, on the other hand, if you have a new connection, I feel that they are unaware of it. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, I'd also see another message here, Aries, that if you don't have another person in mind, another connection in mind, for instance, this is just you wanting to um, address the the doubts and fears here. You want to have a new opportunity to have a brand new start with this person because you see potential for this to go, um, to go, to move forward. You know, this new opportunity where you can both start from ground zero. So that is for those of you that, um, you know, for Aries who do not have any buddy in mind just yet, aside from this connection. And I do see that, um, you know, if, if that ever happens, then this person would reach out to you, Aries, and they would start talking. They would start um, engaging you in some form of activities or coffee or projects, whatever you're, you're currently doing, yeah, or things that you can both work on together as a team. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. Oh, did they know now that um, things were just pretty slow? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, that's the, the push factor. I mean, the pull factor here. This person do still have feelings for you. And at the same time, they're just pretty slow. But the fact here is that they regret what has happened in the past. They were also disappointed and that they wanted to. They, they want to make things right here by starting small. So it's... Um, It's starting small. The thing though, Aries, I do see that possibly this is you. There's some form of deception here. Or there are things that you are doing right now that you don't want this person to know. So the advice for you overall is some um, cleansing waters. So I hope you get that point also. Because that could help you, you know, connect with your higher self while you are in this connection. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that and I hope this gives you insights and um, let me know in the comment section below if this resonates. If it doesn't, you can check out your other signs in your chart and um, you can check out my other readings. I have all the readings for, I mean, I have the readings for all signs per week. And um, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel as well. Okay, and um, click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I go live. And I invite you to join me every Monday for the um, Gypsy Monday Nights Tarot. That's the time I would I would do the readings live um, every Mondays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And then um, I'm going to be reading for all signs. And then you can chat with me online as well. If you're available, you can join me. Otherwise, you can watch the replay. Okay, guys. And um, otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.